Knox County again today setting another record for COVID-19 hospitalizations. The health department says 106 people from Knox County are currently in the hospital fighting this virus. The health department says depending on how cautious people are over Thanksgiving, that number could continue to rise and break records. Hospitals lag, hospitalizations lag uh, new cases. And so the hospitalizations we're seeing right now are from a couple of weeks ago, those cases that came from a couple of weeks ago. So we still are waiting on seeing what the, the burden will be in the hospitals from the spike that we've seen recently. Now the health department urges people to get tested, but once you do, quarantine until you get the results. Even if you're negative, health leaders ask you to be mindful of the risks of large gatherings and take precautions this holiday season. Knox County Schools reporting more than 2,500 people in quarantine tonight. That does include about 1,300 students and 144 faculty and staff. There are 150 active cases in the school system right now, and it reports the benchmarks for custodians and substitutes are both red. The rising numbers and the ongoing pandemic mean many of us are making some adjustments to our Thanksgiving plans. State health leaders say while it's frustrating, following those guidelines now may make a difference for next year. These considerations may seem like they put a damper on our holiday cheer, cheer but with extremely promising news regarding future vaccine availability, it's looking more and more likely that our celebrations will be back to normal next year. Let's take those extra precautions this year so there are no empty chairs at the table when we gather next. In terms of a vaccine, doctors say the state is expected to receive its first batch on December 15th. Authorities say those vaccines will be deployed immediately after they are made available and they will go to frontline health care workers and first responders. They're first in line.